Okay, uh, let's uh, try for Windows Azure subscription. We'll be using a Windows Azure free trial subscription, Windows Azure try, Windows Azure Pass. We are offering Windows Azure Pass, so for a limited period, you can try Windows Azure for free. So let's select our country, Nepal. So we're putting our uh, passcode over here, and we'll click on Submit. Uh, we will be redirected to a form. Um, which will require us to sign in and uh, to our Microsoft Live ID, and we will also be requiring to put um, informations of us. Okay, now here we are. To continue, please sign in to Microsoft Live, filling out remaining information, then click submit. We are now redirected to a form. We need to put our first name, last name, our name, our live email, our phone number. Our company name, which will be Win Server Community. It can be yours company name, uh, anything. We put a zip code. I would like to be contacted to Microsoft regarding Windows Azure's developers offers and campaigns. You need a valid phone number capable of receiving SMS messages. May be required for activation. We submit it. We get a Windows Azure sparse terms of services. We will put our name and our last name over here. By checking the box, you are accepting the Windows I trial agreement, which is over here. This long. Then I accept it. Now, as you can see, that uh, the Windows Patcher Pass, congrats. You have successfully requested Windows Azure Pass. You will be contacted by email as soon as you are assigned an account. This typically takes less than for 24 hours. Thank you for your interest. Okay, now we are back. We will, when we, so after some time, so we can get a Windows Azure Admin Pass. We will get an email that your Windows Azure Pass has been inactive. So congratulations, your Windows Azure Pass has been activated. To get started, you can sign into the developers portal, which is manage.windowsagent.com. We will put it over here. Okay, it takes unloading time. You must have your Microsoft Live ID signed in associated with this account. So after some times, you will get an, uh, a screen like this. So hi Nitesh. Uh, take this 30 seconds to, to see how new management portal makes creating and managing this cloud resources easy. So, here is the main menu. You use this main menu to access Windows Azure's website, switch display languages, navigate the uh, personal uh, portals uh, to log out, uh, to log out, and to manage uh, your end uh, of your management sessions. Sorry. Here you can uh, create. Uh, you can use this portal to quickly set up new services and resources and components with minimal initial configurations. Here are the commands bar, and the command bar provides quick access to global and contextual commands such as stop, configure, and delete. It gives you immediate control of your services, resources, and components. Here is the notifications area, which provides you startup dates, active commands, and service health, and as well as quick access to help. Okay, now here we have started with our Windows Azure.